Welcome everybody, I'm Pastor Bill and this is Fixing Things. What are we doing today? Today we're going to rebuild the carburetor on this F600 Mihaul truck. X u haul truck, now it's a Mihaul truck. And if we have time, we're going to change the oil and everything else. But if I just get the carburetor rebuilt, then I'd be happy. It's uh, really cold today. It's 40 degrees. The high is going to be 49. So it hasn't got up to the high today. And to me, it's okay. It's comfortable. Uh, we got a lot of work done on the generator yesterday. And uh, let me show you that. It's sitting up here in front of my truck. So we got, got a lot of work done on that yesterday. We still got to do some more work on it. But today, it's all about the F600. So we're gonna take the carburetor off, try not to lose any screws and little widget digit things. Soak it in the carburetor cleaner. Make it look brand new. Put all the little parts back together. Carry it back over to the truck. Put it back in the truck. Put all the fuel lines back on it. Crank that key and see if she works. All on today's episode of Fixing Things. Hey, remember, press the like button, right? That's that one that shoots up like this. And all those other little buttons except for this one. Press that up button. Share it with your friends. Hey, I'm trying to make something here out of this channel, you know? And if it ain't getting out, if you're keeping it all to yourself, what good is that? Let's get busy and start fixing things. I'm gonna try not to crawl up underneath this truck today if possible. Save my back. First we gotta put the, I can't reach it ladder on there. That's a little wiggly. Perfect. Take off the old air cleaner. I was actually thinking about replacing this and putting a modern one in there, but you know something? This old oil bath air cleaner is pretty cool. And when you know when I looked inside, it's like spick and span inside there. I think I'm just gonna clean this up and reuse it. That was good for 40 something years. That's yeah, still good today. I guess we'll start with the fuel lines. Okay, that's that. Little vacuum line. That's that's pretty brittle. There's a line right there. Not that size. Put a smaller wrench on the other side of it. That's like two vacuum lines. I think one is the governor. I don't know, maybe you guys know what it is. Yeah, pretty nasty. Good thing we're rebuilding it. All right, that, that, that throttle. Smaller than half inch. Let's see if that's the right size. Yes. Mm. 
Okay, that moved. I just pumped the carburetor and uh, all of a sudden the fuel thing is working. easy. Little choke goes off. This has got, doesn't have like dual full barrels but got dual carburetor springs. It's because it's super fast. All right, so that's off, linkage is off, vacuum lines are off, time to get the nuts off. I can't believe it all of a sudden it just started working. But I did say that. I said, but I bet you if it let it sit for a while. All right, here's the kit I got off uh, eBay. It's a Holly Renew kit. So hopefully it's got all the gaskets in it. Let's see what it's got. We're opening it for the first time. Nothing there. This is old, this thing has been around for a minute. Supposed to fit all these different carburetors. So this is, it's got a Ford part number, but it's a 4184.
how much you want to bet it's not on there. But I guarantee the parts I need is in there. Jumps right over it. Meant, meant for me to have. I can see right now it does not have the the big thing of a jiggy right there. But that thing seems to be working. Alright, let's start by taking the the bowl off of it. Got a match? That bottom uh, screw looked clean. That's a good indication. Save that if we can. I got another one. But just in case. Alright, let's take the power valve off. Gotta get me a Phillips. Let's see if we can get these out without stripping them. Nice. <laughs> it may be working right now, but it wouldn't have lasted long. It's brittle. Okay, so that power valve goes through this little hole right here. That's usually the one that gets uh, plugged up. But sometimes just sitting and soaking, tends to clean them up. Oh, that sucker's tight. So this got two jets in it right here, and they sometimes get plugged up. And they shoot up over and come out over here-ish. We got some gasket that's getting tore up. That don't look nothing like the other one. Yeah. 
That one feels like crap. This one feels good though. This one is uh, adjustable. I don't know how you would adjust it. I would assume that it's already adjusted. Let me put it back in the bag and keep trash out of it. If it's not accelerating, an accelerator pump is working. Those two jets are clean. Okay, just put that in the in the bath. This stuff wasn't even tight. Coming clean. Sorry about that, I did it off, off camera. It's starting to get cold, I gotta get a move on here. All right. A meter in block. Thought I heard something pop out. Shouldn't be nothing in there. All right, this is the new power valve, and it's a 12. So that means it takes 12, 20, 24 pounds of vacuum. open it up. So the, the number indicates half of the vacuum needed. And this one, I, I think it's just shot. I mean, it's, it's, it's not It's just not doing what it's supposed to do. But my truck has been running at... ...19 to 20 pounds. And this says 10. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a 10 right there. And that's a 12. It may be working. I think I can adjust this one by taking some tension off of the spring.
So if you didn't know that, if you if you know what your engine is running at in vacuum, your power valve is half the vacuum, the number on the power valve. Oh, holly carburetor junk. This is a holly, very scientific holly carburetor adjustment tool. Let's get those jets back out. So these are the main jets. They, they were already clean. So most of the time your engine runs off the main jets. But there's a little bit of time between the main jets and the accelerator pump and stuff. When the engine just starts to get under load that the power valve takes over. That's why it's so crucial that that power valve have the right has the right uh, um, vacuum. So I'm um, I'm slightly off. Hopefully it's going to be slightly off to the to the right way. Ooh, that stuff's nasty. Ooh, it burns. Oh, I gotta get that off my lips. Good thing I got soda out here. Ugh, that stuff is nasty. All right, let's see if we can get this thing back on there. I lost one of the bolts. I found something else, a Allen head one. 
hopefully to show up before I finish here. So far, so good. So frustrating, losing parts. All right, let's see here. The springs go on the bottom. I just found this stud. How did it get there? I just found the stud. to get there I, I, I'm I remember taking it off the carburetor over by the I asked the Lord to reveal it to me and wow there it was there it, it absolutely was not there before it's, that's amazing The good thing is I got all the pieces. Oh, it was so frustrating. Uh, I'm gonna have to take one episode and just clean this thing up. Just get the power washer out here. But it's too cold, it's, it's, it's close to freezing out here. I guess it wouldn't be that bad if it was a little warmer out here. Oh Lord, I hope this carburetor works. If 
If not, I'm just going to buy a brand new carburetor. Brand new Holly. I don't know. If I do that, I might as well just get the four barrel intake. I don't want to do that. I just want to keep it. I just want it to run. Just want it to run. All right, I think I got it all together. Put this vacuum line back on, wherever it went to. I can tell you, working these little linkages, putting the stuff on them. The The carburetor is a defeat. The screws on the accelerator pump are stripped. Either the screws are not, I mean, someone must have had it. I don't know, maybe I had it apart years and years ago. But the, on the float bowl on the bottom of the accelerator pump, the screws are stripped and it was spewing gas out. So I'm gonna look on eBay tonight. Maybe I can find a, just a float bowl, or maybe I can find a whole new carburetor. Because I, I really don't like that. It's that that's a that industrial two barrel carburetor is a piece of junk. It's very hard to work on. Uh, you can't get to the, none of the nuts and the bolts and the choke cable, and it it sure could be a lot simpler. And I know some of those the other Two barrel carburetors for uh, Ford motors are uh, for the Hollies and stuff like that. Even the Auto Light is uh, a lot better. So I know uh, I say that uh, I can do all things through Christ, right, who strengthens me. And he does, does give me strength. But I had a feel, funny feeling all day today once I got started on this thing. It was like, Something wasn't right. Something wasn't right. And it was awful funny. The accelerator pump all of a sudden, when I was up there looking down at it, before I took any bolts out of it, and I, I, the accelerator pump started working. And when I opened the carburetor up, the carburetor was, was clean. Uh, I should have just left it alone. I'm not sure why it wasn't accelerating unless the accelerator pump just, or the Lord got it clean and I messed it up. Uh, I know I didn't strip, that, strip those things out because I know better, but I'm in defeat today. Lord, help me with this situation, I pray in Jesus' name. All right, until next time. Next time, I guess we're gonna be working on a carburetor again. Uh, and next weekend, we're also going to be working on the generator. Let's we'll see if we can get that thing up and running. Uh, hopefully, we'll have better luck with that. Uh, I mean, the, the, the motor runs, but it was spewing gas out everywhere. Uh, at least my new fuel pump's working. All right, all right, everybody. God bless you. Go with God or don't go at all.